guys welcome to iimpath gaming so today we are going to play raji an ancient epic so i have been really excited for this game because it is a game that is been developed by indian gaming studio and being an indian myself i feel really proud to play this game because it, it is an indie game from india so let's get started this is the heart of our story golu and raji brother and sister and this was their whole world this one small carnival the other performers were their friends their only family This was home. On that day before their performance, Raji took her brother aside. "Did you forget little brother?" she asked him. And she tied a rakhi to his hand, for it was the feast of Raksha Bandhan. Although it was a feast day, they still had coins to earn so raji walked on tight ropes and tumbled for the crowd while golu told his puppet tales of ancient times when demons walked the lands A long long time ago a demon did penance for showing such devotion Brahma blessed him with immortality and a mighty weapon of all Upon receiving he united the demons to wage a war Bhumi Devi urged him to stop. He killed her ruthlessly without thought. This angered Shiva greatly. And he stomped. Dividing the continents. And the demons were forever lost but as he spoke the skies darkened and the earth shook and other figures dressed as demons strode through the crowd these were not masks this was not a child's tale the demons turned to slaughter raji tried to reach her brother he'd been hurt and he was scared and she knew she must protect him but in that moment raji failed for the garasura demons took golu from her Raji Awake my child The cutscene style is influenced by the puppet shows that's a nice touch to the game the graphics looks decent let's see how the story unfolds I have played the demo few times and if you are interested I think it's still available on Steam the link is in the description if anyone wants to play the demo so this video will cover the demo part so I'll be playing this game completely and and uploading its content Oh, 
is this place? She is so young. A child. Remember Shiva's words. It is so much weight to put on the shoulders of a mortal. Is this wood strong enough? Time will tell. Madurka. Her brother and the other children had been seized by the Gadasura. I told her that she must be strong. Her journey would be difficult and full of unknowns. I blessed her with the Trishul, my most powerful weapon that Shiva had given to me. This, with Raji's own serenity and strength, would save her brother. The background narration is between Lord Vishnu and Goddess Durga. So Lord Vishnu is known as the preserver within the trinity of gods. She has no serenity. Her heart rules her head. She walks boldly into a dark cave. She leaps chasms. She stands fearless before a goddess. Har Har Mahadev! There is fire in her. Yes, it must be tempered. But without that fire, she would have already given up. Many mortals would not be brave enough to climb. Our Raji has no fear of heights. Watch. So Lord Vishnu is a supreme being who creates, protects and transforms the universe. And Goddess Durga is Hindu goddess of war, strength and protection. Goddess Durga and Lord Vishnu are watching over Raji and guiding Raji on her journey. The Trishul or the trident that Raji received is wielded by God Shiva and also by Goddess Durga. There, see? She is learning to think and to use the skills of her childhood. It is one thing to climb a pole and quite another to face a demon. To save her brother, Raji must face the demons. She held the Trishul, and it was a gift of great power. It was blessed by Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, and would help her stand against her terrible foe. But it was also a great responsibility. To wield it, she would need strength, courage, and belief. Have any of you seen my brother? The other part. Go now, before they come back. The narration part is something that I am really enjoying. Where are you taking him? Poor child. She will find a way.
look at this scenery. So imagine being in a place like this. It's like a dream come true. In few of the reviews about this game, I see that some people complained about the background music because it is a classical Indian background music which is something that I don't think a lot of people will find interesting if they are not from India. But in my opinion, I think they did pretty good job with the music. It matches with the theme of the game. This is the part where we have to find some another way to reach the castle. Hear your pulse, the beating of a war drum. Feel your heart quicken. Strength flow through you. Fight, Raja. Be the warrior. She will bring an end to him. Jai Ma! This door is weaker than the other, and the Trishul is a most versatile weapon. So the controls look pretty uh, simple. are pretty easy to defeat maybe they are easy because it is a tutorial section so let's see how strong the enemies will be in further parts of the game watch this she is a circus performer Araji. see what she can do another thing that i really like about the game right now is that there are no ui elements like there is no health bar or a power up bar something like that on the screen so using environment is a good idea to make combat fresh golden nectar, the fruits of a demon kill. Its power will heal your wounds. 
The mandala shows each person their past. There is always a purpose to such visions. Oh! It is myself and Kolu. This puzzle was pretty simple. Shrine to Kali. Your sister's shrines are fed by violence. Raji can make use of that if she is careful. Om Shri Mahakali Kayai Namaha. She begins to learn. So I think this is the special attack that I can do if I have that power up. I'm just going to collect this power up. I don't know where I will have to use this. You must admit, she shows promise. She will need battle skills. That is so true. And they will be sorely tested. But that is not what I meant when I asked if she was strong. Ah, Mahishasura, the shape shifter, the 
buffalo demon, evil incarnate. Yet, without him, you would not have come to be. This is the moment when he was granted the boon by Brahma. No man could kill him. And here, Mahishasura seized the heavens, unkillable, defeating and driving out all the devas and even Indra himself. Your birth, Durga. The devas knew it was their only chance to create a being capable of destroying their foe. All their power focused into one body, gifted with all their weapons. I wonder what your first thoughts were. You forced him back. I remember it well, you on a lion's back, leading the battle line. The devas flocking behind you, inspired with new courage. Mahishasura at bay, forced to take his true form. The monstrous buffalo, stamping and blowing crushing warriors with his hooves and throwing them into the air with his great horns. The killing blow struck with the trishul in your hand. There was no fear on your face, although Mahishasura had shaken the heavens themselves. That is it for today guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Be kind, be safe and have a good one.